Hello friends, this is Groovy here for yarcrypto.com and today I have a video for you guys about uh, altcoins and I wanted to kind of show you guys uh, what to look at uh, right now because we are seeing uh, a rise from a lot of different altcoins uh, especially because BTC is kind of moving sideways right now so I'm going to kind of make a rundown on, on some altcoins and uh, kind of update you guys uh, in case you are uh, thinking about trading uh, this, uh, some of these alts. And so, yeah, just to give you guys some reference, uh, I have BTC here uh, on the 4-hour uh, and we have been following this kind of uh, channel, right? Uh, but Lately, we have been seeing uh, some sideways movement for BTC. Uh, it be, it's been kind of quiet. Uh, and as you guys can see uh, on the market here, uh, a lot of altcoins uh, have been able to uh, get a run uh, against BTC uh, and against uh, USD as well. So we have a lot of green here uh, on the Binance uh, market here. Uh, we got Engine uh, plus 20%, uh, Luna, uh, we got uh, Solana as well, right here, uh, and Ave as well with the bullish news that we talked about uh, on the live show yesterday. Um, so yeah, let's start here, guys. Uh, I'm going to start with uh, Ethereum. Uh, we have the daily chart here. And uh, taking a look at the price action right now, um, we have we have the our three levels here, the bottom level which is the 2K level 2100, uh, our middle range that we just uh, retook once again, uh, which is the 2300, uh, which is also the golden pocket for this local retracement here, uh, from this swing high to this swing low, um, right here. So we have our golden pocket uh, in the middle here, 2300. Uh, as you can see, the daily closed above it. Uh, or we retested it uh, on the current daily time frame. And now we are trying to move up uh, to the uh, upper range that we have here, which is the 2400 uh, level. Uh, all right. So this is basically what's going on for Ethereum. I would uh, expect us to actually try and test the 2400 level uh, because the 2400 is also a golden pocket but for a different retracement which is from this point at the top here to all the way down to the same swing low over here right um, so this is a very confluent level as well uh, and if we zoom in at the four hour here you guys can see that uh, after retaking this uh, level uh, at the 2300 level, uh, we retested it uh, for a couple hours and now we are uh, kind of moving up to this uh, other area here. Okay, so this is uh, the, the, the levels to watch out for Ethereum right now. Uh, I am very bullish on Ethereum, as I mentioned uh, yesterday. Um, with the EIP-1559 coming on, coming up, and yeah, everything about the, the network is, is really moving right now, uh, the NFT space as well. Uh, so yeah, um, this is Ethereum. Also, we have Aave here, and Aave uh, is uh, a very bullish one because uh, as we mentioned yesterday we had uh, the bullish news about Ave Pro uh, going live and uh, the, the kind of platform for institutions uh, institutions to actually use right um, so we have the daily chart here for Ave and I have a few levels here that I, I want to talk to you guys about and I'm going to clear this up and redraw some of these things for you guys. Um, the first one is we can make a retracement from this to the swing high to the swing low, right? Uh, and we have the golden pocket uh, from this retracement right on this level that we are at right now, right? So we are currently testing it 
uh, on the daily time frame. Uh, the past, the last uh, daily candle was not able to actually get past it, but right now we are uh, looking at some uh, strength uh, signs for Ave. And if you look at the uh, RSI here, uh, it still has uh, some ways to go. We're gonna zoom in in a little bit and actually see it uh, a little more detailed. But this level here <laughs> for Ave is very confluent. Uh, as you guys can see here, we had a lot of support here in the past. Uh, every, all of this area here. So this is very important. If we can retake it uh, right now, uh, it's possible that we can move up uh, even more from here. Before this move, if we look at the uh, money flow index uh, down here, uh, also with the, the bullish news, we had kind of, of a divergence on the money flow. Uh, before this this uh, kind of move to the upside that we had. So this is, uh, as you can see here, we had the money flow actually going up as the price action moved down. So this is uh, also, uh, the money flow is a very reliable indicator for us, uh, for, their, for divergences and stuff like that. So yeah, Ave, uh, if you look at the four hour here, you guys can see that we broke the 618 level here, this uh, bottom line here. Uh, we went up and now we came back and retested it again as support. And it seems like uh, the support line was cemented and now we are trying to move up again. Okay, so if we do close the daily uh, above this uh, kind of golden pocket here, then I would say it's very bullish for Ave, uh, and we can uh, continue to the upside from here, uh, following up on the bullish news as well. Um, another coin that I have here is Luna, and Luna, uh, you guys can see that uh, we have kind of a similar situation to BTC, uh, where we have a lot of sideways movement in this range here between uh, four dollars and kind of seven, eight dollars. And uh, we can draw this line here that I have from this point uh, right here, this swing high right here, and also to this, from this kind of swing high here. And then we kind of make our range here, right? Uh, so this range, if we are able to actually uh, break this range, then I would say this is very bullish for Luna. Um, and we also can make sort of this retracement here from this swing high to this swing low. And you guys, if you look closely here on the daily, there's very little resistance in between this level that we are at and our golden pocket for this big retracement. So if we are able to actually move out of this zone and if BTC behaves, then we can see some very, very high uh, upside for uh, Luna in the future. So this is something to watch out for. If we look at the RSI right now, uh, the RSI is still has some move to the upside, there's room. Uh, but if you look, uh, zoom in at the four hour here, you guys see that we are pretty overbought on the RSI for the current move. So I, uh, I would watch out for a retracement now uh, from Luna, uh, possibly to kind of the six, uh, six and a half dollars uh, range, and because it it was a uh, significant level inside this range as well, as you guys can see here, from this point, uh, also this area here. Um, point out for you guys here, this one. And then we had this general area here at the 6.5 as well, right? So yeah, if you get rejected by this top range, this top range here, uh, I would say uh, a possible support for us is this 6.6, uh, 6.7 uh, 6. level, okay? Uh, so yeah, this is Luna. It's looking nice so far uh, and we could see uh, a retest of this range and a possible break 
uh, in the future as well. Um, continuing on for Solana here, uh, we also have a very interesting chart here to look at because uh, we have been seeing a pretty nice move for Solana uh, going up uh, ever since uh, the 22 of June. And we made kind of a 40%, 42% move uh, since then. So this is very nice. Um, and we can make another interesting uh, levels here we can draw. The first one would be the retracement from this swing high here to this from this wick all the way down to this swing low at the bottom here. Uh, and it, as you guys can see, we have the golden pocket here highlighted uh, at the exact level that we are at right now. Okay, so yeah, this is big resistance for us. Uh, and I don't know if we are going to be able to actually uh, get above this and have a daily close above this. Uh, if this is the case and we actually close above this level on the daily, then it could be very bullish for Solana as well. Uh, if we zoom in at the four hour here, you guys see that we are testing this level right now with this candle here. Uh, however, the RSI is very uh, overbought as well, almost at past the, the 70 line. So it's gonna be tricky for us to get past uh, this level with the RSI at this stage here. Um, but what are, are what are the levels that we can act, uh, actually see for support if we do get rejected by the 618 level? Uh, I think the most obvious retracement that we can make is from this swing low here to this swing high here. Um, and the golden pocket is very low here. So we can actually change this and look at some other levels of confluence. And I would say that the 382 for uh, Solana uh, at the $31.40 is a possible level that we can watch for a possible retracement. Uh, or even uh, above this, the uh, 23.6, which is the $34 uh, is also a possible uh, spot for a retracement, okay? Um, so yeah, this is the Solana chart. Um, this is also looking very nice, um, except for this resistance. Right now we are seeing some very interesting price action uh, for the altcoin uh, space, uh, especially DeFi. Uh, so yeah, if, if BTC behaves and we can uh, get some money into the altcoin market, um, then I, I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to have some kind of alt season uh, and we're going to have uh, a lot of alts uh, with uh, doing some moves against BTC, right? Uh, especially these uh, kind of uh, more important uh, players in the NFT or the DeFi space as well. Um, so keep, a, keep an eye on that, guys. Uh, Try to keep a very close look at the altcoin market and how it's doing right now because uh, BTC, uh, the way it is now, uh, we could have some, some moves from the outs uh, as we are seeing right now on some of them, right? But yeah, guys, this was all that I had for you guys uh, today. Just a quick rundown of, of some coins that I'm, that I'm watching right now. Uh, if you guys want to request any coins in the comments uh, you can do so and i'm gonna check it out for you guys also we have our discord community where we do this every day uh, we do live ta um, every day so if you want to come and join us uh, and talk about altcoins or btc uh, watch some price action um, or if you just want to learn about crypto as well uh, you can please consider checking it out um, so yeah, if you want any more content, you can also access yarcrypto.com uh, and we have our new site, uh, yarcryptonews.com as well. Uh, and that's it for me, guys, today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This has been Groovy for yarcrypto.com and bye-bye.